Well, look at this, folks. We got a 6.7 turbo diesel a Cummins. And she purrs like a kitten. This is our tow rig. This is a 2012 Dodge Ram 3500. Cummins diesel, of course. And this one's the Laramie Longhorn edition. And of course, it's a dually. And it's a good thing they put this on here because it's, I wouldn't be able to reach that as high up as this truck is. It's got the big trailer mirrors on it. It's got the fancy leather seats. I first saw this truck in Montreal at a new car show. And I said to myself right there, then and there, I gotta figure out how I can own one of these. Such a sweet truck. So let's see, this one has 80,109 miles on it and it is 12 years old. And here's the condition that it's in. We can shut it off, be a little quieter. Oh, better take the key out. High security around here. Can't get the key out, there we go. This one even has the sunroof, the drop-down DVD screen, the entertainment, the uh, Bluetooth cordless headphones in the back, all the controls on the wheel. And this is a towing machine. So it's got the heated wheel, the heated and air-conditioned seats, four-wheel drive, of course. It's got the exhaust brake on it, trailer towing package uh, not much that it doesn't have really if you're seriously going to tow across country I couldn't express to you enough how you want to have enough of a truck and not be at your limit all the time because it's still got the original tag on <laughs> the leather seats. And it's 12 years old. We've had it for 11 years. It was a leftover. Came from Armory Dodge down in Albany. And it's been a great truck. It's still in great shape. Especially being from the Northeast where they can't put enough salt on the roads. I've always loved the interior. The seats are starting to show a little bit of wear. I have some conditioner I can put on them that makes them look a little bit better. But hey, it's 12 years old. It's not in that bad of a shape. But that Cummins will tow. Um, currently, we're towing that fifth wheel right there. And that's about 11,000 pounds. But we were towing a big Raptor. If you followed the channel, towed it all the way out to California, that was 16,000 pounds. It makes a big difference being a dually. And we just upgraded our hitch to this Kurt 24,000 pound fifth wheel hitch. And that is really a nice hitch. We found it on Marketplace for about half price. Um, on the body of this truck, we had a little mishap here and I think it's let water uh -oh. get into this tailgate. And this is the only rust spot on the truck. The tailgate's got, getting kind of bad. And we have a heavy duty uh, two and five sixteenths ball that we put on here. So we do a lot of towing. We tow a lot of uh, bigger trailers and stuff for people. But I just wanted to show you today, this truck, if you're in the market for a truck, these are some great trucks. The fuel mileage isn't awesome on this. Um, when we're not towing, about the best I've ever gotten is 15 to 16 miles per gallon. And once we hook up to a camper of any size, it can easily drop down to about 10. But uh, it will tow and you won't be worried about breaking your truck. 
So as far as I'm concerned, if you're going to be towing a fifth wheel or a travel trailer of any size, get a 3500. Doesn't necessarily have to be diesel and doesn't have to be a dually, but uh, I would highly recommend getting a uh, truck enough for whatever you're going to do. So this is the part of the video where I fire this baby up again and take you for a little ride. And for my buddy Sean out there, I wore my Lake Whippoorwill hat just for you, buddy, just to see if you watch this video. I know you're usually one of our biggest fans. So let me turn this thing around, show you what this thing looks like. It's all lit up. Let's take it down the road. So for you people that don't know what an exhaust brake is, having a diesel truck, sometimes I've said just having the exhaust brake alone, it's worth having a diesel truck. When you've got a real heavy load pushing you down a hill, and you push this button right here, and that's your exhaust brake and you don't even have to touch the brake really saves on your brakes and then these trucks came with a built-in uh, brake controller which is real handy so we're going to just take it out through town I will push these buttons so one is tow haul mode you can see they come out right here and the other one is the exhaust brake. So these trucks, they do ride a little bit rough. They have a pretty stiff suspension because they're made to haul a load. Oop. I'm going to have to put my seatbelt on. Hang on, folks. Safety first. Beeper told on. <laughs> okay, that's what they have editing for. Just picture you're pulling your big fifth wheel up one of these narrow country roads. And you decide you need to use that turbo diesel. You hear that? I just let my foot off the gas. That's all I did. Never touch the brake. So that's what the exhaust brake will do for you. Oh, this is why you got to be careful because look, there's a deer crossing the road. There's probably another one behind it. Yeah, right there. <laughs> I know I got this thing on wide, wide angle lens. Probably can't see that well. But they do have some pickup. Then they shift weird when you have them in those boats. So I'm gonna reach over here. I'm gonna push those buttons. I'm gonna take that off. And then we're gonna get on it. And we're gonna see if it acts any different. So now we're in regular mode. We're going to get on even a smaller country road. See, now it doesn't slow down so much. But again, if you 
push that button, which I will, the exhaust brake will slow you right down, especially notice that if you got a big load behind you pushing you. See, we're getting a whopping 11.7 miles per gallon with this thing right now. Just banging around town, it's you're lucky if it'll run 12. But it handles good. And here we are on the state road. A little wider. Nice wide shoulders, nice and smooth, where this truck is just a dream to drive on roads like this. Six-speed transmission, shifts nice and smooth, XM satellite radio, which I turn that on, but God forbid there's any music come out. Get in trouble with YouTube. 